Hi, I'm Avery Glasser, Ignacio's Director of Product Strategy, and for the next few minutes, I'm going to talk about the free speech technology used in our new Keybox Verifier. When it comes to speaker verification technologies, there have really been two distinct families, each with their own history and unique limitations. The speaker verification technology that you've most likely heard of is called text-dependent. Text-dependent technology comes from the call center world and is generally considered to be an offshoot of speech recognition since they use the same core algorithms. When you implement text-dependent technologies, you first have to figure out what you want your user to verify with, because with text-dependent, what you enroll with is what you have to verify with. That means that if I want you to verify with the phrase, my voice is my password, uh, you have to enroll with that phrase. Of course, if I change my mind a month later and want you to say, my voice is my password, please verify me, you'll have to re-enroll with this new phrase. In some ways, text-dependent technologies have some inherent benefits. Because we're capturing just a single word, phrase, or short series of digits at enrollment, it's very fast. If you have only a single three-second phrase you want to enroll with, you can build an enrollment process that has a user repeat that phrase three times, and with about 10 seconds worth of audio, the user can be fully enrolled. However, at the end of this enrollment, only a single phrase is recorded. I normally would recommend recording three phrases as well as the digits so that when I verify a caller, I can select one phrase at random as well as a string of randomly generated digits. That means asking the user to enroll three three-second phrases, which you say three times. That's 20 seconds, seven seconds of audio. Uh, then you have to add the digits, which would take nine seconds to say the zero through nine. Repeat that three times for an additional 27 seconds. That makes uh, enrollment take uh, about 54 seconds worth of audio. And again, at the end of the 54 seconds, we're left with only three phrases and the digits. So if I need to change a phrase, you know, a user has to call in, re-enroll that new phrase, which can really become a real nuisance. Free speech is based on a generation of technologies called text independent, and these technologies certainly didn't evolve out of the call center world. Where text dependent technologies were designed primarily for speaker verification, uh, which is confirming a user's claimed identity, text independent technologies were brought to market to handle issues of identification. And the main users of identification technologies, law enforcement, border control, national intelligence agencies, and forensics labs. Uh, Ignacio was formed with the vision of solving the problem of automatic identification and evidentiary level identity confirmation for this market. Uh, the challenges of the law enforcement market are very different from the call center market. When someone calls into a call center, there's intent. That means the person intends to call in and that the caller has a purpose. He or she could be calling in to handle their banking or to get technical support. Regardless of the reason, the caller chose to call and therefore wants to have a successful transaction. That means that either he or she is typically going to call in from a phone that gets good reception. Uh, he or she is going to try to be in a quiet area so they don't need to shout in order to be heard. More importantly, the caller is already in a mindset that they need to deal with any authentication method in order to get access to what they wanted to do when they called in. Uh, law enforcement doesn't have these sorts of optimal conditions. Uh, where in the call center world, the caller's voice always comes through a telephone, which means you can assume certain quality of the audio. Uh, for law enforcement, an audio recording can come in from a wiretap or a hidden microphone or a parabolic microphone uh, 30 meters away. We knew that at the start we would need to be able to compare recordings taken from all different sources, and our free speech technology was really designed to accommodate for all sorts of less than perfect audio recording conditions. With call centers, you can tell a person what they need to say when they enroll on a speaker verification system as well. You can tell them what language to speak. You can count on the fact that since people calling in for service want to be understood, they will do their best to have a successful transaction. Uh, in the law enforcement world, we have the exact opposite effect. Here, we assume that people want to disguise or shield their voices. We know that we can't expect someone to say a specific script to enroll or verify, and that in many cases, someone won't even know they're being enrolled or verified in a biometric system. We can't even guarantee that in two separate recordings, a person will even speak the same language each time. Uh, basically, where the text-dependent call center technology solved for the best case scenario, 
putting the burden on the caller to provide a good audio sample for verification, we took the perspective that you first need to solve for the hardest of the real world use cases. So you may be asking yourself, how does all this translate in something that we can use in the enterprise and call center space? Well, we knew from the start that free speech technology would change the way that voice biometrics will be deployed at enterprises and call centers. But we also knew that we needed to make some significant changes to our law enforcement mindset. The first generation free speech technologies were historically slower and required more audio than their text dependent counterparts. Enrollments could require five minutes of speech and verification could be upwards of a minute. Yeah, of course, when you're using surveillance, it's easy to capture that much audio, but for an enterprise application, we knew we had to do better. So we spent the better part of a year figuring out new techniques that would allow us to enroll a user with as little as 30 seconds of audio and verify that user with an utterance that's under five seconds. Uh, not only did we build this for the Keybox brand, but we also incorporated this into all of our products across the board. That means that you can now enroll a user on Keybox in the same amount of time it would take to enroll uh, three phrases and the digits on a text-dependent system, and you can verify with the same amount of audio. So creating a voice application that utilizes Keybox becomes extremely simple. At the most basic level, you can have a caller simply talk for five seconds, and the platform will then recognize the user. Uh, however, this can be a bit awkward. Typically, we would ask the user to repeat a phrase or two. Uh, these can be randomly selected and then combine that with anything else they may have said in the voice application, such as their account number when they first called in, uh, to use for the verification process. Since we only care about the user's voice and not what the user said, uh, prompting is really just a guide to make it more comfortable for the caller. We know that when it comes to enterprise authentication, the mantra is now multi-factor. Combine knowledge-based information that's contextually relevant with a second factor, such as voice biometrics. To implement this sort of multi-scenario uh, with Kivox is trivial. Since free speech evaluates a person's voice, not what the person is saying, you can combine CRM data, third-party speech recognition, and Kivox to create a true multi-factor authentication system. In this case, a voice application could query a CRM database to get a piece of knowledge-based information, uh, such as your account balance or where your main bank branch is or what your address is. Mm -hmm. And when the user responds, the speech recognition engine would evaluate the utterance for what was said while simultaneously Kivox would determine who is saying it. And only if you know, we get confirmation both from speech recognition that the right thing was said and from Kivox that the right person said it would the user be authorized onto the system. Since Keybox is free speech based, the knowledge based information challenge can change on every call without requiring users to re enroll on the system with every potential answer to every potential question. I hope you now understand a little more about Ignatio, Keybox, and the benefits of free speech technologies. If you have questions or would like more information, please feel free to visit our website at www.ignatio.es. That's www dot A-G-N-I-T-I-O dot E-S. Thank you.